Hello everybody, I am Shitanshu and this video will talk about the 2018 year-end report and analysis of the Express Entry program. It has recently come out only this week, so it will be very interesting to talk about some of the statistics which is a part of the this year-end report. So we'll talk about it in detail in this video. Stay tuned. Hey guys, as I told you, my name is Shitanshu and I regularly upload Canadian immigration and lifestyle videos. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please consider subscribing and pressing that bell icon so that you don't miss any of the videos. Alright, so this is the official website of Government of Canada, Canada.ca and you'll find the Express Entry Year and Report 2018 published over here. It was just published last week, so it is in a lot of detail. It's a PDF which you'll find over there. It's in it's in lot detail. Uh, you'll find each and every number, some percentages over here. It's, it's like in so much detail that it will be very difficult for uh, us to understand. So I found an article there in uh, CICnews.com. It has given some of the graphs over there. So it will be very easy for us to understand the holistic view and the analysis of uh, the of this complete year end report from that graph. Alright, so the first very important statistics is of course the number. So total admissions of uh, new permanent residents through the Express Entry program in 2018 was more than 90,000, which is massive, right? In 2015, it was just 10,000 and 2016, it was just above 30,000. So if you calculate it from 2015 in four years, it has actually uh, been more than nine times which is a great, great number. And in 2019, it's going to be even more. In 2020, it's going to be even more. So they're increasing it every year. They're increasing the targets every year, which is, of course, a good sign for, for people. Now, uh, moving on to the next uh, very interesting graph here. This graph is about the invitations issued by country of citizenship. And of course, as you see, India rocks the chart here. Probably around 60 to 70% of the invitations issued were to Indian people, people holding the Indian citizenship, now whether they were in India or outside, but they were holding the Indian citizenship. And uh, if you include India and China, then probably it's around 75 to 80% people uh, were from India and China. Rest of them uh, probably, you know, Nigeria, Pakistan and the United Kingdom constituted of the important numbers. From other countries, it was obviously lesser number. Now, the other very important graph is about the divisions of invitations based on Express Entry Program. So some of you would be glad to know that uh, the maximum number actually comes from the Federal Skilled Worker Program. So the Skilled Worker Program, the all program draws that happen, it includes all four draws. Federal Skilled Worker, Canadian Experience Class, PNP, and uh, Federal Skilled Trades. Actually, PNP is a part of it. So basically, three of them, Federal Skilled Worker, Canadian Experience Class, and Federal Skilled Trades. And out of them, Federal Skilled Worker gets the greatest number, which is something around 60%. The Canadian Experience Class got the second number of invitations, which was approximately something around 40%. Then rest were uh, for PNP and for Federal Skilled Trades. Federal skill trades got the least number, uh, less than 1,000. Okay, now the top 10 occupations. So software engineers are going to get very happy over here because you see the demand of software engineers in 2018 and it's continuing 2019 as well. So 2018, ITAs, 7% of them got to the software engineers at this particular NOC, 2173. Then it was information systems analysts and consultants not too far at six percent then it was computer programmers and interactive media developers and so on this is just the top 10 of course there were many others like who got uh, less than two percent there were many others all right now this is a very interesting in which probably most of the people actually who are the ex who are in the express entry pool gets interested so this is the maximum and the minimum crs cutoff score so probably you can find it over here that March 14 draw probably was the highest, which was 456. And the December 19th draw was the lowest, which was at 439. So the difference 
here is very obvious if you see from February 21 to March 14 there was three weeks so obviously the express entry cutoff score got really high in that uh, three week time span and then towards the last there was just one week gap between the two uh, consecutive draws between December 12 and December 19 so so the cutoff score actually went down considerably to 439 and of course there are numbers as well and the number of uh, CEC and number of PNP FSW and skill trade class that got the invitations okay another very important point is about the CRS score distribution in the express entry pool so you'll find that uh, in uh, that in 2018 on 3rd of January 2018 number of people were 71,087 now in 2019 it has increased to 94,977 which is approximately 33 percent right which is a great 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 increase and that is the reason why the CRS score is actually getting increased every year similarly you'll find a similar uh, difference over here as well uh, it is the on 3rd of January 2017 it was just 58,000 people were there however in 2019 there were like 94,000 people so you can imagine such a huge number of people who actually uh, got increased in just a span of two years uh, that is the reason that is the explanation why the CRS score is actually getting high every year you can uh, actually analyze it from uh, this score here as well I'll provide the link to this PDF file in the description box below you can do your own analysis that's it from my side in this video Please subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. And yes, if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button. Thanks again for watching this video.